According to a media report, the Swedish Krypony has a unit cost of $85 million, which is much cheaper than the $115 million French Rafale aircraft, and Saab has agreed for the full technology transfer of Krypony along with customization with indigenous radar missiles and avionics, and the media report has claimed that the Krypony can replace the need for 120 Tejas Mark II and also fulfill the requirements of 114 fighter jets under MRFA program, so that India can fully shift the focus on the AMCA program. The report also said, that the F-414 engine is also common between Gripen TEDBF and AMCA, therefore, the Gripen is best positioned to be selected for Indian Air Force at a much lesser acquisition cost. U.S. firm General Electric is actively considering to set up local production plant in India, with a majority of the ecosystem for the engine to cater to the Indian market, as the company is expecting double-digit growth for India's homegrown fighter jet programs in the next 10 to 15 years. General Electric has already secured a contract for 99 F-404 engines for the 73 Tejas Mark 1A program, and HAL will place orders for 70 more engines for an additional order of 50 Tejas Mark 1A contract by 2028. The Tejas Mark II TEDBF and AMCA Mark 1 program will be driving major F-414 engine sales for General Electric, and it might also power around 80 HLFT-42 next-generation trainer in the near future. The RDO's research center Imarit has signed a licensing agreement for transfer of technology with a Chennai-based private sector company Carborundum Universal Limited for the manufacturing of ceramic radams used in aerospace and missile systems. Carborundum Universal Limited has said, that its lightweight ceramic ballistic solutions are also customizable for use in bulletproof vests, and can even provide highest levels of ballistic and blast-proof protection for armored vehicles. The key laying ceremony of the two multi-purpose vessels was held at Larsen and Tubro shipyard for the Indian Navy, that are being built to perform multi-role support functions such as maritime surveillance and patrolling, and operating autonomous unmanned vessels. It has a displacement of 3,750 tons, a speed of 15 knots and a range of 4,500 nautical miles, and is armed with 30mm auto cannon, two stabilized remote control guns of 12.7mm, very short range air defense system, two 533mm Varun Astra torpedo tubes, and RBU-6000 anti-submarine rocket launcher. Paras Defense has been awarded a 64 crore rupees contract by National Aerospace Laboratories for the supply of avionics suite for Saras Mark II aircraft, which includes complete glass cockpit of the aircraft, including all the equipment related to control monitoring communication navigation weather and anti-collision systems along with autopilot system, and officials have said that the Saras Mark II is expected to conduct its first flight in 2025. Pakistan is developing another TPS-77 radar site, located just 58 kilometers away from the international border. The Lockheed Martin-developed TPS-77 multi-role radar is a highly capable mobile radar system that operates in the S-band frequency range and has a maximum detection range of 470 kilometers, and can detect and track a wide range of airborne targets. 